Welcome back to another how-to series by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer for Trend Micro. I handle products such as Apex One, Apex Central, Office Scan, Control Manager, and a whole slew of others. Um, so we, on the last, uh, the last series, we went ahead and registered the Apex One to the Apex Central, and you can see all the data here. And right now we are just missing a little bit of data off of the dashboard because uh, we have no Active Directory synchronized. So we're going to go through the steps on how to synchronize that Active Directory right now. So just go to Administration, Settings, Active Directory and Compliance Settings. Click on that. Come to this screen and it's as simple as enabling the feature, putting in the FQDN or IP address of your domain controller. And just for parity uh, with our other videos, I'm going to use the FQDN for my domain controller. Make sure to use a user that can handle the, uh, the LDAP query to the domain controller and can get the information back or else you'll fail on authentication. Down here you could uh, set your synchronization uh, timer. If you have a lot of changes going on in your, your Active Directory environment, then you could set it to a lower synchronization schedule so you have more up-to-date data. Uh, my environment doesn't change very much, so I'm going to set it to 24 hours. And the time of synchronization really depends on the size of your Active Directory. Um, normally, even with very large Active Directories, it'll take less than 10-15 minutes. Um, for smaller Active Directories like mine, it'll be nearly instantaneous. So just click Test Connection. Make sure you can connect to it. You'll get a nice little check mark there. And then go ahead and synchronize and save the data. So after a couple of minutes, it'll synchronize. Um, my, mine is very small, so I'm just going to come back here and see if it's done already. And yeah, it finished. Uh, I have some some time zone issues that I have on my server, so just ignore that. But you can see the, the minute and second marker is matching what it is, so it just happened. Um, so we should be good to go. We can look at the dashboard again, and you'll be able to see more fruitful data. So under my AD, I have my Active Directory, um, I have very specific data set, and you'll be able to see it in here. And also under the Active Directory and Compliance settings, you can modify your sites and reporting lines, such as this right here, which specifies my IP address range, uh, which dictates my environment, my test lab environment. And then your reporting lines would dictate your managerial settings. So if you have uh, your AD set with different manager structure, you can Set it up in AD and it'll recognize it. And once you pull over your manager name and then name the display, you'll be able to see who that person is managed by in uh, detailed reports later on. But that's pretty much it for active uh, directory synchronization in Apex Central. And uh, we'll catch you on the next time and we'll, we'll do Apex One next with the active directory um, synchronization. Bye.